up, guys? Of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, the Scarander. And today we're going up against the Delta Champion. Yes, the guy from the different division that is in the LBA. This is the real deal, the final. And yeah, Tom or Stray Lithia or Tipster Jones is um, yeah, he's a tough team. Like on the preview, uh, if you want to check out my thought process there, make sure to check that video out. Outside of that. This is it. Like, we did predict a lot of things right here. And Cloyster really, really stood out for me. And Fortress is it there, which was predicted. So we have a team designed around that with, of course, the taunt on the um, Thunderous. So not too shabby, not too shabby at all. And outside of that, we are going to have a rough battle here. It, it just is that simple. We basically have to find out his sets, uh, which Pokemon holds what item, and due to that... Um, build something around it. That was my only main idea really. And uh, Kelly is going to play a major part with this team matchup. It can do a lot of damage to all this team really. So that is something that we're going to work with. And yeah! Outside of that there's really nothing. I'm going to leave with Thunderous, hoping he leaves with Fortress. And taunt it and Volt Switch it. And we actually had to do a retake because that is actually how the battle starts off. But um, I scored a crit Volt Switch in the beginning. And, uh, and then he accidentally, his internet was acting up, so we had a DC. So two turn DC, which was not too bad, but I do not score a crit there in the next session, which means I do not bring the Scallopy, which I did previously, who could uh, Oko it with uh, Mega Horn from that range. But anyway, with all this in mind, guys, let's go. So as you also can see, it's a very fast-paced battle, where a lot of offensive Pokemon, there's not a lot of walling going on, which is really, really funny. Uh, so anyway, he's going to really with the bend wall, like I said there, and I'm going to taunt it. Uh, pretty much, you know, make sure that it is uh, in fashion of not really attacking me, and they're not going to go for rocks. Now, I will go for a Volt Switch here, and he's going to bring Cure, in, which takes this really well. And the thing is here, I do, due to not scoring crit here, I decided to actually bring Sigalith. Uh, Sigalith cannot Oko this thing whatsoever. Dazzling Gleam can do a good chunk of damage, but that is really all. Um, but that was the only play I could have made there. I... Uh, so I'm risking my potential focus sash here, which is obviously what I'm carrying. And he is gonna bring his Breloom, and I did see him bring a Breloom, trying to survive it and break my sash with Mag Punch. I decided though to stay in anyway, and that might have been a bad idea. Uh, I didn't want to risk potential spores there, obviously this thing isn't scarfed, and there of course breaks my sash, which really, 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 really sucks. Now I'll go for another round Dazzling Gleam, finish him off, and um, yeah, there's a Brelum gone, no problem whatsoever. He's gonna bring a Fortress here, and here's where I do another play, that might have been the wrong play to make actually. As so I go for Heat Wave, bring it down to Sturdy, I didn't really need it to do that, because I did suspect a potential cust up Berry, but the thought didn't cross my mind when I went for that move, I would have been much better off just breaking the Sturdy, then going for Heat Wave, but that is not what I decided to do and you get two layers of hazards up, which really, really sucks. Now, it won't affect the game that much, but at the same time, I am definitely in a position where I screw things up here, because now I know with Fortress gone that I have no situation here where I can bring my Deanshi for set up hazards, and that is not good, not good at all. So anyway, he's gonna lead with his Landers, going for a knockoff, which easily will kill me. Uh, I have no switching for that, I don't, and I was fearing that I could not play around this position. Now, he will show me, of course, the life for, which means I have a few Pokemon that can outspeed, which is, of course, what I'm going for, which is Keldeo, which can set up, um, ooh, what do you call it, a substitute against this Pokemon, which was something I was really, really hoping for, I was going to be able to do, and hoping that he brought Keldeo, or not Keldeo, cure him. So Curin comes in here, no problem whatsoever. And we get the substitute up, which is so cool, because I know I can kind of O-code this thing from this range, no problem at all. And of course, we get the left towards recovery, which is of course really, really, really nice. And yeah, basically gonna go for Secret Sword, and he's gonna show me the barrel which reduces that damage. Now, the thing is here, I actually got a very low roll here, I'm still able to kill it from that range. Uh, but for some reason, at the time there, I got really nervous, thought that he could survive it, and Keldeo was very important. So I actually decided to switch out there, and what makes that even worse is that I actually forget, and I can't stress this enough, I forget about Terra Volt and what that does to abilities, and I'm gonna actually bring in Thunderous, hoping to soak some recovery. But of course the opposite is gonna happen, and we're gonna get a heavy, 
heavy hit on Thunderous, which was really, really unnecessary. Consider that there was no reason for him of not keep going for fusion bolts, and I could have much have easily brought out or brought my uh, guard jump if that was the case. But I could have stayed in, and I could have actually killed to cure him with Makeldio. I did not do that, and that was a very, very, very bad call. Now here it is actually where things really, really go sour. He brings Cloister. I have a taunt on my Thunderous. What do I do? I Volt Switch. I can't believe it. Like watching this game again, I realized what a missed opportunity that was to stop him from shell smashing. And of course you hear with the top of my voice that this is where shit goes down. Now, I do have a chance of live a potential Icicle Sphere round and there should be really no issue here. Um, but he is actually going to be special. And what makes that worse is that I actually have a not a decent chance of living it, but I do have a chance of living it. It's, it's a roll, actually. But we will not find that out, because he will score a crit on me. Yeah, that's that's terrible. That's really, really, really bad. Now, I do have one more thing I can do here, which, of course, is bringing Keldeo, hoping... Or I can take any special hit he got on me. But I did suspect potential hidden power, and I should have switched in my Thunder, sacking it just to find that out. Uh, I don't do that. I don't. I got really nervous, and I st I've stopped playing good here. I really, really did. And of course, I'm going to bring Beta Max, which only needs one speed boost out Speed Cloister. There should be no issue, but I predicted him to Shell Smash another round. He does not do that. He needs to play safe. And yeah, we, we lost the game. I'm sorry, guys. This is actually how we're going to go down. And it, my last Pokemon is Mega Garchomp, and it's nothing it can do. It, it really is nothing. I preserve the Mega Evolution because I want to preserve the speed for, of course, the Landorus and um, the um, Curem. But I never needed to do that because I'm, it's not going to be working anyway. And this is actually how we're going to lose. And the worst part is, I don't lose a bad opponent. Um, and I don't lose because he makes any bad plays. He's actually making the plays he should make. I just, I fail to act on him, and the direct, direct result to that is that I lose, and I lose badly because I have the necessary means to stop him, I didn't act on it, and therefore I lose. It is that simple, but it sucks to see it like this, you know, when you see the guys game ahead of you and realize, wow, I had a decent chance of stopping this ever happening. So yeah, <laughs> that's the final over, and um... You know what guys, really, like I said there, I had the actions to make this battle turn out differently and I didn't do it. And sometimes it is just it's as simple, you know, we, we can't all be in the game all the time. And I'm still I'm still glad with all the things I made until the very season end there. It was great having a final like this. And I guess a bit, I, I am more salty about losing like this, but not because my opponent um, played like this, but more that, like I said, I did have the means to stop it, but didn't do it, and like I said, I had access to Stealth Rocks. I would have been much better off leading up with uh, my Thunderers going for Volt Switch, breaking the Sturdy, and then bring Dianchi, and pretty much let him get up to his Hazards, and then myself getting up to Hazards. The Taunt actually destroyed me. The, the very play I thought would be smart actually came back to bite him in the ass, and um, one deserved to lose like that when stuff like that happens. And um, yeah, I was just, I was not the best of players today and it sucks to say it like that but seeing the match again I do see the flaws that I made and um, I just have to accept that I couldn't ri rise to challenge when I needed to and sometimes it is that simple and uh, it's a frustrating loss because well I thought it would have been a really really close one or actually honestly uh, as long as I had Keldew intact I would not lose this battle because it had nothing that could outspeed it, and I could just set up all over it. But I didn't do that, I failed to act on it, and the result of that is me losing, and that's fine. It sucks, but it's fine. <sighs> so yeah, you know, I'll, I'll do an um, ending video with all the battles, you know, just pretty much have a wrap-up of everything went down. I'm still CETA's champion, so I'm still getting to choose my own team next season here, so it, that's gonna be incredible. But as of right now, there is a bit of a low point. I, I didn't want. I if I wanted, to, I wanted to lose. Like I could handle lose. I just wanted to lose differently. For me, this is too simple. 
and um, seeing that I had, like I said, I structured myself enough to actually avoid this makes me even mad. I, it makes me mad about myself, not my opponent. I think he played great. He he played exactly as he needed to, and uh, the result represent, represents his stats. So tips to Jonas or Jones, GG man, and uh, I'll guess I'll see you next season. And to everybody else, like I said, I'll be leaving a video later on this week with, with um, you know, collection of the battles and, you know, thought processes and all. Uh, so I want to thank everybody for watching and following me this season, really. And I hope, of course, that next season will be just as exciting, if anything. So everybody, thank you so much for being a part of this. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.